Hey, welcome. This is going to be a video tutorial of how to create a very basic static web page using Node, React, Webpack, and Babel. So this is going to start from scratch, and by that I mean I assume you're familiar with Node and familiar with React, and you have Node installed on your computer, but otherwise uh, we're just going to start with an empty folder here. So I'm actually just going to start by initializing this as a Git repository and then uh, I'm going to add a remote here um, and then initialize this as a node module as well just go through with the default settings and then awesome so we have our package.json file created for us I'm just going to change a few things real quick all right and then start installing some dependencies so First, we're just going to install React and React DOM. These are the most basic uh, packages that you need to sort of create any React app at all. And then we're going to install some dev dependencies. And so these will be um, Babel Core, Babel Loader, Babel Preset ES2015. Babel preset react and so what Babel is is it's a tool that transpiles sort of complicated JavaScript into just a simple um, pure JavaScript uh, file for us that means uh, ES6 and react syntax uh, can be transpiled into pure JavaScript syntax and so that's what we're going to use Babel for then we're also going to go ahead and install as a dev dependency, we're going to install Webpack. And, um, and so something to note here is Webpack is uh, being installed locally in this folder. And you might want to install Webpack globally if you want to run it as a uh, command line command. So if you, um, if you just want to run it, uh, once this finishes up here, I can show you. Um, all right, so if you want to run it like this, uh, right now it doesn't work for me because I don't have it installed globally, um, and so I won't, I can't run the web webpack command. Um, what I'm actually going to do here is something slightly different, and I'm going to take advantage of the node modules scripts feature to define a script to run webpack instead. So I'm just going to call it webpack, and if I give it the command here, it'll actually look into the node modules folder and find this, uh, this command. And so if I were to run npm run webpack now, that will run webpack. It won't run properly because I didn't have it set up yet, but um, that's how we're going to run webpack. All right, so the goal uh, at this point is to create just that simple uh, static web page. I'm just going to have one element on it, um, but uh, it is going to be generated from a React component. So but we're going to start off with creating the, the HTML file that will end up being served to the client. So this will just be a simple HTML file. Give it a title. And uh, if you're familiar with React, uh, you know that the way to put a React app onto an HTML file is to just bind it to a simple div. Um, and I gave it the ID app here. All right, and then the other thing we need to do is load the JavaScript file. So I'm going to call it uh, bundle.js. So we haven't actually created this file yet, but um, it's just the standard name. And this is a single JavaScript file that contains the whole JavaScript part of the app. And we'll load that into the HTML file like so. All right, so now on to the JavaScript. So we're going to create a file called app.js. This will be the, uh, for now, just the single file that has the React and JavaScript part of our app. So we're going to use uh, ES6 syntax here to import React from the React package. Similarly, import React DOM from React DOM. And then we're going to go ahead and define a simple component, we'll call it app. Then 
this component is going to just have a render function that returns a simple h1 tag, just say hello, and that's that. So in order to create, in order to render, render this onto the page, we'll bind it to the app div that we had created earlier. So this app component will get attached to the document dot get element by ID, uh, that element that we created earlier. All right, so this is the, the JavaScript file that we're going to be using. Uh, and so this has some ES6 syntax and it has some React syntax that we want to convert to just pure JavaScript so that we can deploy this onto different types of browsers. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to run Webpack and we're going to give Webpack instructions and settings using a config file that we're going to call webpack.config.js. So create a new file and uh, I'm going to import a couple of packages into uh, this, this new file. We're going to use paths to just define some directory paths and then we're of course going to need webpack as well. All right. And so the, the file will export a bunch of settings. So the first setting will be entry. And this is sort of the, the entry point that uh, we'll look into. And this for us is the app.js file that we just created. Um, this is sort of where the dependency manager will start in determining which uh, files it needs to bring into bundle.js. And it'll sort of go down the dependency tree starting from app.js. And then we're going to define the output of this whole process. So we're going to tell it to go into the current path, uh, the, the, the root path, and we're going to give it a file name of bundle.js, which is what our HTML file is expecting. All right, and then the next part uh, is the actual uh, instructions for the trans transpiling. So we're going to tell tell it here to uh, look for files that have the extension .js or .jsx using this regex. So that'll catch all our, our JavaScript files um, as well as any uh, JSX files. And we're going to tell it to use the Babel loader to, to load those files. And, and we only want to choose the files that we've created and we actually want to make sure not to include uh, files in the node modules folder. So in order to do that, we'll just specify uh, excluding the node modules files. And then finally, we want to tell Babel uh, what it should be doing. And so uh, we're going to give it ES2015 and React. So this will be able to uh, transpile the the two uh, non-pure JavaScript elements of our uh, app.js file. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's the uh, the config file for Webpack. Uh, just a simple one that accomplishes what we're trying to do here. So now, if we run npm run Webpack, let's see if it works. Uh, so it's running Webpack. It's taking all those um, React, React DOM, and our app.js file and uh, we can see a new bundle.js file was created. And this will contain just the pure JavaScript for all those different things. So if you look into it, it has um, a, lot, a lot of code here uh, consisting of all those packages and our file. Great, so now that we have bundle.js and uh, we've created all the files we need for our uh, index.html file to function, let's see if we have what we wanted. So let's serve the index.html file using a simple Python server here. And uh, so this is running on port 8000. Okay, so if we look at what we have, let's check out localhost 8000. And there we have it. We have hello, just as we were looking for. So to summarize, we just created a simple HTML file and a simple React component and uh, wrote the Webpack configuration in order to make that all work to be able to serve just a simple uh, HTML file that says hello. Hopefully that was helpful. 
Uh, good luck.